The United States is a global leader in the development and production of advanced weapons systems. With a long history of innovation and investment in military technology, the U.S. has consistently pushed the boundaries of what is possible in the realm of arms production. From cutting-edge aircraft and naval vessels to precision-guided missiles and sophisticated cyber weapons, the U.S. military is equipped with some of the most powerful and deadly weapons in the world. In this video, we will take a closer look at 10 sophisticated weapons that are currently in use or projected to enter service in 2023. Stay tuned. Number 1. The AGM-88G AARGM-ER Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile Extended Range It is an upgraded version of the AGM-88 High-Speed Anti-Radiation Missile ARM developed by Lockheed Martin for the United States Navy and the Italian Air Force in response to the changing threat environment. The missile will provide the USN and Italian Air Force ITAF, with a more advanced and capable anti-radiation missile that can better address evolving threats. The AGM-88GAARGMER was first announced in 2018 and is being jointly developed by the USN and ITAF. It is now still under development and expected to be operational in the near future. Number two, the Maritime Strike Tomahawk, MST. It is a long-range subsonic cruise missile developed by Raytheon Technologies Corp. It is also identified by Tomahawk Block 5A. The MST is a modified variant of the Tomahawk Land Attack Missile, TLAM, which was announced in 2021 and is constructed to use a new seeker and guidance system to provide a more precise and flexible capability to engage moving targets at sea. The MST is equipped with an imaging infrared seeker that can acquire and track ships while in flight and a new navigation system that allows it to fly a precise, pre-programmed route to its target. The missile also has an enhanced warhead for improved penetration against armored ships. Number 3, the F-15 EX Eagle II. The F-15 EX Eagle II is a newer and more advanced version of the F-15 Eagle fighter jet, which was made by McDonnell Douglas for the United States Air Force. It is meant to replace older F-15CD models and has been upgraded with new features such as an advanced cockpit, enhanced weapon systems with additional weapon stations, advanced avionics, including an improved electronic warfare suite, new mission computer and data link capabilities. Additionally, it has a greater range and endurance due to an improved engine and airframe that allow it to fly farther and stay in the air longer. The USAF has ordered the F-15EX aircraft, with delivery of the first unit expected in 2021 and plans to purchase up to 144 units. The F-15EX had its first flight on February 2, 2021. This aircraft is highly capable and well-suited for a variety of missions, including air-to-air -air combat and precision strike. The F-15EX is expected to play a key role in the U.S. Air Force's air superiority and strike capabilities for many years to come. Number 4. USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79 The USS John F. Kennedy is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier built by Huntington Ingalls Industries for the USN. It is equipped with two advanced nuclear reactors that provide propulsion and electricity, an advanced weapons handling system, a new aircraft launching system for quick and efficient aircraft launch, advanced sensors and communication systems, and an extensive self-defense suite for protection of the ship and crew. The ship measures approximately 1,106 feet in length and has a displacement of around 97,000 tons. The carrier is designed to carry a complement of 75 aircraft. With its advanced propulsion system, it can reach speeds of 30 plus knots even when fully loaded. It is the second aircraft carrier of the Gerald R. Ford class, CVN-78, and is named in honor of the 35th President of the United States, John F. Kennedy. Construction of the ship began in 2011, following authorization from the U.S. Congress in 2007, and it was launched in October 2019. The ship is still under construction and testing and is expected to be commissioned in 2013, 
providing the U.S. Navy with a powerful and versatile platform for power projection and sea control. Number 5. The Bell V-247 Vigilant It is an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, concept developed by Bell Helicopter, a subsidiary of Textron Incorporated. The V-247 is a tilt-rotor UAV, which means it has rotors that can tilt to provide both vertical takeoff and landing capability, as well as efficient cruise flight like a fixed-wing aircraft. The design for this next-generation UAV for the U.S. military was first revealed in September 2016. It features a large, twin-engine tilt-rotor with a wingspan of around 65 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of around 30,000 pounds. The UAV is constructed to be able to perform a variety of missions, including intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, strike, and logistics. It is specifically intended for maritime operations projected to start production in 2023. Number 6. The F-16 Fighting Falcon It is a single-engine, supersonic, multirole fighter aircraft initially created by General Dynamics, now Lockheed Martin, for the United States Air Force. The S-16V, V for Viper, Lock 70 to 72 is an upgrade package for the S-16, which costs around 70 to 80 million dollars per unit. The first F-16V was delivered to the Republic of China Air Force in 2017, and the upgrade package has been ordered by several other countries, including Bahrain, Greece, and Slovakia. The F-16 V Block 70-72 upgrade package includes several advanced features that set it apart from earlier versions. The key enhancements include an active electronically scanned array ASA, radar with improved electronic counter-countermeasure capabilities, providing improved range and resolution, and the ability to track multiple targets simultaneously. The cockpit has been modernized with a high-resolution and large-area display, improving the pilot's situational awareness and making navigation and targeting easier. The F-16V also includes advanced avionics, such as an improved electronic warfare suite and new mission computer and data link capabilities, which improves communication and coordination with other aircraft and ground-based assets. Additionally, the F-16V can carry a larger number and variety of weapons, including the latest air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. The aircraft has also been designed with an emphasis on increased survivability, featuring advanced radar warning and electronic countermeasures, and structural enhancements to improve the aircraft's ability to withstand battle damage. Number 7. The Precision Strike Missile, PRSM. PRSM is a missile system developed by Lockheed Martin that is an upgrade of the Army Tactical Missile System, ATACMS, which has been in use for over 20 years. It has a more advanced guidance system and longer range than the ATACMS. The missile is meant to be launched from the Army's M270, a two launcher, and can reach targets up to 311 miles away. It also complies with the latest treaty on intermediate range missiles, the INF Treaty. Lockheed Martin was awarded the contract to develop and produce prototypes of the PRSM in 2019, and the missile was test fired successfully in 2020 with its expected operational availability in the mid 2020s. Number 8, the M88A3 Hercules. It is a family of the M88 Armored Recovery Vehicle, ARV. The M88A3 Hercules is a heavy equipment recovery vehicle used by the U.S. military and is an upgraded version of the M88A2. It includes a new engine and transmission, stronger crane, and improved power pack. Additionally, it has a new digital communication system, upgraded suspension and braking systems, and improved armor protection. It's considered one of the most powerful and capable heavy equipment recovery vehicles in the world, used for recovering and repairing tanks, armored personnel carriers, and other heavy equipment, as well as towing disabled vehicles and functioning as a battlefield bulldozer. With a weight of 78 tons, 
a length of 42 feet and a towing capacity of up to 64,000 pounds. It is powered by Caterpillar C32 diesel engine and can reach a maximum speed of 35 miles per hour. Number 9. The ACV Recovery Variant, ACVR. It's a new addition to the amphibious combat vehicle, ACV, family. It will provide recovery, maintenance, and repair capabilities to the existing ACV fleet. The ACVR will be equipped with a powerful crane and winch as well as other tools and equipment needed to recover and repair other ACVs. The ACV program was initiated as a replacement program to AAVR-7, a one which has been in service for more than 40 years, with the need to have a new, more capable amphibious vehicle that can meet the challenges of modern warfare. The program includes plans to acquire a total of 204 vehicles, with deliveries to begin in 2020. The ACV is designed to transport Marines from ship to shore, and then provide armored mobility and firepower once on land. The ACV is also equipped with a variety of features to improve its amphibious capabilities, such as water jets for propulsion and a bow ramp for disembarking. The $34.9 million contract awarded to BAE Systems is for the first phase of the ACVR program, which will focus on the design and development of the vehicle. The performance period of this contract is 20 months, with the ACVR expected to join the United States Marine Corps by 2023. Number 10, the AGM-158D JSSM-XR Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile XR. It is an upgraded variant of the AGM-158 JSSM that has an increased range of 1,000 nautical miles. It is designed to provide the capability to engage high-value, well-defended, fixed, and relocatable targets at long range with minimal risk to aircraft and aircrews. The missile is equipped with a more advanced navigation system, improved propulsion system, and a penetrator warhead. The AGM-158D JSMXR was first announced in 2018 and was still in the development phase. The weapon costs around $1.5 million per unit. The first batch of the missiles produced in 2021, with delivery beginning in January 2024 at a rate of 5 units per month. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.